All right, guys, what we've got today is uh, a HK Mark 23, known kind of humorously as the world's only crew-served pistol. It's a 45 ACP firearm. It was designed at the request of the United States military because they wanted an offensive handgun. HK didn't come up with that term. The military actually did and solicited companies like HK and Colt. So what we're going to do today is see what this gun is capable of. They claim it's one of the most tested firearms in history. All sorts of crazy stuff. Uh, I've heard military servicemen love it. Some hate it. I'm going to see what it's all about today with Miles, and uh, let's get to it. Hey, it's Miles Vining here, and this is my first time shooting the Heckler & Coke Mark 23. Notice I don't have hearing protection because we've got a Knight's Armament OHG proprietary suppressor on it. It was made just for the Mark 23, as we can see here. It gets pretty hot, um, as Alex was just shooting it earlier. But uh, let's see if, let's give it a go. It's a little front heavy, but that was interesting. Sure was, a bit, bit, bit of uh, history here. As part of the testing for the Mark 23, they fired, they fired three of them up until about 30,000 rounds, and the only thing they had to replace was the O-ring, which is this little O-ring right here on the barrel towards the muzzle. And that was only on one of them at 20,000 rounds. The initial requirement was 2,000 rounds between mean failures, and it actually went up until it's actually rated to 6,000 rounds, and the first failure that, ha that occurred was at 15,000 rounds. So it's a pretty mean beast right here. It's often quoted as one of the most extensively tested uh, military pistols in history. Um, a lot was definitely put into it. Um, we don't have the LAM that came up with it. It was a laser aiming module that was inserted right here. Actually, that is in for the the rate the radar uh, the radiation on it and the lasers on it are actually enforced by not the ATF by the but by the FDA um, for some odd reason with that their, their jurisdiction but um, but yeah it was tested with a suppressor on it the proprietary suppressor as we mentioned before we can take it off and it's got a little muzzle cap that goes on the end and that's it right there pretty huge HK got a lot out of this pistol later on leading to the USP series. Um, that we enjoy today. Alright guys, so we had some fun with the Mark 23 today, ringing some steel and uh, shooting it suppressed, unsuppressed. I've shot this gun a lot and I've owned it for I think three years now and it's never had a malfunction. It shoots great. Um, I have big hands so it fits my hands okay. Not going to lie to you and say it's a small pistol though. It is a big pistol. You can see Miles has big hands as well and even with gloves it's still a pretty, pretty big gun. Um, but Miles, you uh, fired it for the first time today. Give us your overall impressions of what you thought. Um, an offensive weapon to say the least. 
uh, on single action, it's pretty good. Um, but that double action, wow. Yeah, it's got a stiff Teamless. double action pull. There's there's yeah. no kidding there. Um, other than that, the handling characteristics, what'd you think? Uh, handling, the, the deselector over here might leave a little more to be desired. The safety kind of gets hung up sometimes. Um, otherwise, if you, sh if you shot a USB, then you've shot this. Uh, similar just as that. The sights, um, something I'd like to add that people are gonna look at this and say, oh, it's unwieldy, it's heavy, it's long. It's weird, it's got this lamb thing that whatever happens on it. Um, something we just need to place in context is when this came out, this was actually extremely groundbreaking. There were no Picatinny rails back then. There were, the concept of putting lights on the front of your handgun just wasn't there. This was one of the first pistols, you know, to incorporate a bunch of designs such as they already have with the deselector of here, similar to the SIG. And then you've got um, nice raised sights that clear the suppressor as well. Yeah, that kind of thing as well. Maybe this started that kind of trend. This is starting um, the suppressors getting in armed as well. All in all, it's it's a pretty interesting gun, guys. Um, I've read that they're out of production. However, I keep seeing them for sale from big distributors. Um, so I'm not sure if HK is making them in batches or maybe they're selling off remaining inventory. Um, but yeah, so they're, they're still around. And with the suppressor, it's a great suppressor host. Um, you don't have to buy the KAC can. There's other cans with thread pitch now. Um, I just think the KAC can's cool because it's proper for the gun. Um, but all in all, cool gun. I enjoyed shooting it. It's fun ringing steel with this gun. Uh, people generally laugh at it when they see how big it is. But uh, if you're in the market for a target pistol, which these are match grade pistols, they're capable of two inch groups at 25 or 27 yards. Then, I mean, it's nothing to laugh at. No, no, yeah. not at all. You're not gonna be, you're not gonna be disadvantaged by buying a Mark 23. Let's no. put it that way. It's not gonna be my concealed carry gun either. Um, maybe Andre the Giant could pull it off, but I don't think I could. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> um, anyways, at this time, I'd like to thank Ventura Munitions for providing the very expensive 45 ACP we shot today. And Grizzly Targets for giving us the targets that we have. Held up pretty good. Once again, still pretty satisfied with them. Absolutely, guys. Again, this is Alex and Miles with TFP TV. Maybe drop a comment, hit the subscribe button if you want. But until then, we'll see you next time. Until next time.